you have made up your mind that this is your queen, you're going to wife this girl or you, you have engaged her or you have married her. You've made up your mind that this is the one. Why you can't be with just her? Hmm? Why, why are you still running behind there chasing all these different females and stuff like that, making her feel like an option? And then, then you know what? Why are you chasing all these other females? A lot of them already know who she is. So what you think going to happen? They will disrespect her, right? Mm -hmm. Because you lower her value by putting another woman over her, before her. My question is, why do you guys do that? If you already know this is the one you want, this is your queen, your family, your your family know her, everybody know her, Should you already introduce her to your pastor and everything. Hmm? You engage her or you're married to her. Why are you still chasing all the females? That's my question. Please answer my question. Y'all open your mouth and answer your question. Why you can't keep, as, answer this question. Why you can't keep your zipper closed? Why you always got to be going here and there and chasing this and everything all in the alley, in the back of your, of your SUV, you know, doing stuff you're not supposed to do, hotels and, you know, random places because, is it because of the statement that men are dogs? Hmm? Is it because we people say that men are dogs, that you guys got to be literally dogs? It's supposed to be a figurative speech. You guys are not supposed to be literally dog. Dogs. I mean, if you want to be, if you want to be literal about it, then why can't you just let your woman put a leash on your neck? Hmm? And control you. So you don't go out there and be a dog. Since I mean, like, if you choose your queen, then it's like a dog choosing its master. That's how I see it. That's how I see it. If you choose your queen, then you don't want to be a dog out there anymore. You have chosen rough. You have chosen your master. Okay, and you know when 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 dogs have their masters, their masters put leash on their neck, and you know I, I'm sounding ridiculous because you guys are taking the you guys are taking that saying literal and taking advantage of it and being dogs regardless of the fact that you are not actually a dog. Okay, so if you are going to want to be literally a dog, then let your master, who is your queen, you have chosen her, put a leash on your neck. Put a leash on your neck and keep you from going out there and eating grass, licking the ground, pissing on this stick, pissing on their house, pissing on this wall, pissing on their fence, pissing, eating poop, drinking dirty water, pooping everywhere. If you want to be literally a dog and you've already chosen your queen, your wife, she, you engaged her, your bed to, to get her many years, she, your family know everybody know her, you have chosen your queen, a.k.a. your master. If you're not going to be literally a dog, then she don't need to put no leash on your neck, literally. Because I don't understand why you already chosen your queen and you're still going out there being a dog because... It is said that men are dogs. Just because they say men are dogs don't mean you should go out there and be literally a dog. Have you ever got up every morning going out in the street talking about her, 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 her. Do you bark at women? You don't bark at women. You are not literally a dog. Just because they say it doesn't mean you should take advantage of it. Like I said, if you're going to do it like that, then let a woman put a leash on your neck, okay? And keep you contained, okay? If you want to be, if you just can't control your doggy desires, your doggy instincts, then let your master, a.k.a. your queen, put a leech around your neck. A real leech. Since you want to be a real dog, let her put a real leech around your neck.